In this Inkscape video, I'll be demonstrating an easy way to make a bunch of randomly spaced marbles, like the ones shown here. And for this video, I'll be using Inkscape version 0.48. To get started, I'm going to move these marbles out of the way to give myself space to work. And I'm going to start out by creating a shiny marble. And to do that, I'm going to select the circle tool and while I hold down the control key I'm going to press and hold the left mouse button and draw a circle and I'm holding down the control key so that I get a perfect circle and then I'm going to go down here and change the color to red and as you notice I have a border around the edge here where it's called a stroke in Inkscape and I want to get rid of that so I'm going to go down here to where it says stroke and I'm going to right click on this black area and I'm going to say remove stroke. And next I'm going to add a gradient to this circle. So I'm going to choose the gradient tool here and then I want a radial gradient and so I'm going to click on the radial gradient button right here. And then I'm going to press down and hold the left mouse button while I drag this down and then with this node selected right here, you'll see it in blue. I'm going to go over here and choose the color black. And what that does is it changes all this outside area to a black color while leaving this first section here that I selected red. And I'm going to go up to this handle too and pull it up just a little bit. And the next thing that I want to do is add a shine to this. So I'm going to go over to the selection button here and press that. And then I'm going to press control D to make a copy. And then I'm going to come down here and change this copy to a white color. And then I'll grab a hold of this arrow down here. And when I hold the control key, that will let me change the shape of this circle proportionally without changing the position of the top of the circle. And then now I'm going to go over to this right arrow here. And this time I'm going to hold down the shift key instead of the control key. And then press the left mouse button and drag this out. And by pressing the shift key, it lets me change both the left and the right edge at the same time. And then next I want to add a gradient to this white area here. So I'm going to go down to the gradient tool again and press that. And this time I'd like to add a linear gradient. So I'm going to press the linear gradient button right here. And then I'm going to go someplace in the center of this white area and press and hold the left mouse button. And then I'm going to drag this down here to the right. And then I'll go back up to the area that I started from and press the left mouse button and then drag this up to the left a little bit. And then I want to select this area that I just added the gradient to again. So I'm going to press the select button right here. And then while I'm over the white area, I'm going to click it once so I can change this corner arrow to a rotation arrow. And I'm going to press the left mouse button on this rotation arrow. And while I'm holding the mouse button, I'm just going to rotate this a little bit. And then I'll come down to the middle and using the left mouse button again, I'm going to press and hold while I drag this down kind of over to the side. And now I have a shiny looking marble. And the next thing I want to do is go up to the top left corner, press and hold the left mouse button and select this whole area here. And I want to group them together. So I go up to the object menu and select group. And it's important that these be grouped together for a later step that I'm going to perform. So now I'm going to take this marble that I've created and I'm going to go to the bottom right arrow here. And while I hold the control key, I'm going to use the left mouse button and I'm just going to shrink this down. And then I'm going to position it up here in the top left corner. And then I want to make a copy of it. So I'm going to press Control D. 
And with this copy that I've made, I'm just going to drag it off to the right. And then I'm going to select both of these marbles here. Press Control D again to make another copy. I'm going to drag both of those off to the right. And I'm going to do that again and select all four of these. Press Control D to make a copy. And then drag those off to the right. And so now I've got eight. And then I'm going to select all eight of these. Control D again. And this time I'm going to drag these down. Now I've got 16. And I'll select all 16 of these. Press Control D. And drag these down. And then one last time, I'm going to select all of these. Press Control D to make another copy. And I'm going to drag these copies down. The next thing that I need to do is open the Align and Distribute dialog box. And I can do that with this button right here. And if you don't have this button displayed on your Inkscape, then you can also open this dialog box by going to the Object menu and then selecting the Align and Distribute down here. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go up to the top left here and then I'm going to select all 64 of these marbles that I've made. And then I'll go over to the Align and Distribute dialog box. And right here you'll see a button that has some yellow squares on it. I'm going to press that button. And what this button does is it randomizes the position of all of the marbles that I've created. And depending upon what you're trying to achieve, this may be your finished picture. But I want to continue on and to show you how to fill in all of these empty white spaces between the marbles. So what I'm going to do is press Control D to make a copy of all of these marbles. And now with the copies still selected, I'm going to press the Randomize button again. And this will reposition the copies of the marbles that I made. And then I'm going to repeat this again. Control D. And now I've made another duplicate of the marbles. And again, I'm going to press the Randomize button. And then I'm going to repeat this again. Control D. And then the Randomize button again. And now you can see that I have most of the spaces filled in between the marbles. So I'm going to do this just one more time. Control D to make a copy and then the randomize button one last time. And now I want to fill in just a couple of the white space gaps that I have remaining. So I'm going to press the escape key to deselect all of the marbles. And then I'm going to grab just one of these marbles that's on the top and with the left mouse button just click it and I'm going to move one of the marbles. So I've covered up that white space. And I'm going to grab this marble here, and I'm going to cover up that white space. And there's another white space here, so I'm going to grab this marble and pull that into place. And then again, I can hit the Escape key to deselect this marble here. So that's how you can use the Randomize button in the Align and Distribute dialog box to randomize the position of any objects that you create. Well, thanks for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment. Have a great day.